I don't care what it looked like because it's got to get over while it's on my mind. A big, whatever the word, is because of my memory from trauma. I have to remind the fucking Americans why I'm traumatized. Now that's, it's over. These people are not even fucking human beings. All right, I don't care what I look like. I have to elaborate because there's something I got to write and hopefully I'll remember exactly the words of the guidance. Probably won't, okay? Probably won't. No, nobody trusts anyone but me. Be, bear with me how I say this, all right? Because everybody knows it. They know a lot of the Jewish people are fucking criminals and really racist. They know you live anywhere long enough and you learn this. They're fucking all the way Jewish mobsters and and then if they're not that, they're really fucking racist as bad as the KKK. It's really twisted. Okay? This is not all, but this is a lot. And to a lay person just living in the world, that's what you know. There's like two different Jewish. Yes, and you were right. There's two. It's the same as with the whites. There's two. There's the whites. I don't need to explain this. We know. The neo and the regular. I don't need to fucking explain this, do I? All right. So no, no one fucking trusts anyone. I do believe that. Um, the Jewish people fucking know that. They're having a big fight in Israel. We'll see what they decide to do. I have no faith in anyone. I have no faith in people who are plagued with whatever the word to be in the mob and plagued with racism. I have no faith in those kind of people. What happened in Russia is a small percentage compared to Israel and the Jews in America. This, these two nations where the Jews live compared to the white people. Do I have to explain the white fucking people? You motherfucking idiots. Heidi, if they're that fucking stupid, they need to not exist. And I pray for their fucking deaths. All right, so anybody who's plagued with this neo-Nazi, this shit, I'm not explaining it, and this over, whatever the word, that has taken over their fucking everything, I have no words left and you are going to fucking hell for it. It has taken over the Jews and taken over the whites. I gotta be in the mob. I gotta be a neo-Nazi. I hate the blacks. All the blacks are horrible. All the Mexicans. Ah, Latins. Chinese. Ah, me and the Jewish are the best. Ah, and we're in the mob. Ah. This has become their fucking identity and religion and you know it. You sick and I don't have faith in you. And I don't care what happens to your countries. You sick. Al Qaeda, these countries, UE, Bahrain, there's like 30% of their population that are good humans. It has taken these, my window's open. I have to have it open, it's hot in here because of her chemicals. I should put my fan on, yeah. Mm. Al-Qaeda, the ideology has taken these, whatever the word, over there in the Middle East. I pray at night and I ask for guidance. My guidance is 
the good militaries, they do exist. I just don't see it. I'm in Berlin. And they know how to handle it. They probably do. These countries over there in the Middle East are going to be fucked up. Okay? There's people in the Middle East, Arabs, who... Oh, Syria, certainly. Uh, do you see what happened to the Syrians? Do you think there's no vengeance for this? They know what Al-Qaeda will do. Al-Qaeda will not stop until they're destroyed. They know that. The good Arabs. But in some Arab nations, it's only like 30, 40% of the population. The ideology of Al-Qaeda is taken. It is taken like the, I gotta be in the Jewish mob. To be Jewish means I gotta be in the mob. Uh, it has, and you know it. To, to be Jewish means I gotta live in New York. And I gotta, I gotta hate all the Arabs and hate all the blacks and hate all the Mexicans and Chinese. My name is Gwen Ball. And you know it. I'll share something personal. When I learned about the Jewish mob, I was screwed up on drugs for the two years. And I was, I'd wander around the city. I know, they probably, I might have looked like somebody who could, could have been introduced to prostitution, but I wouldn't do it, you know, no, no. That's one big reason why I stopped doing drugs. Um, I didn't want to end up a hooker, dude. Um, but the, his, 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 however you fucking pronounce it, them ones that dress like that, used to follow me around in the Lower East Side. That's one of the areas they control. There's certain parts of New York, I'm not fucking schooling you on it. Um, there was these two guys, I can remember, that used to pop up. It was brief, it was only for a few weeks. They were trying to, I think, hold on. It's a fucking helicopter. Let me plug my ears. You fucking scumbags here. They, I think, I don't know. I never asked for guidance. It doesn't matter to me. I, fucking helicopter. Oh, these are horrible here. I think when I was screwed up by myself, a young female, 29, 30, on drugs, I looked like it, you know, a little punk rocker. Oh, yeah, looked like your typical punk junkie. I was not in good shape. I looked very punk rock, and I don't need to explain this. Twice. One time he bought me pizza and talked to me. I mean, talked to me at that fucking state that I was in. Come on. I don't even know what I said. Something fucking really stupid, dude. All I cared about was getting high. And I remember thinking how weird this guy was. This guy's dressed up like all the way like, you know, at the wall. The, the wall they pray at with the hat and all that shit. He's that, that. I don't know the word right now, motherfuckers. You stole my vocabulary. You know what I mean? It was one of those type of Jewish guys up there in the diamond area. Do I have to explain this? And um, he bought me pizza. He was all nice to me. No, 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 mommy. I was so naive. No, because I'm not a hooker. I didn't even know it when it was around me. I'm just not looking for it. I ain't that, dude. I'm seriously your typical fucked up New York junkie. All right? Punk rocker. I'm one of the last of my kind there. That is fucking fact. Yeah, there was hardly any like me there. There used to be a lot of us at the state I was in, the Iggy Pop, the Blondie on the, the Ramones, the really screwed up punks that used to run around New York City. But I was about 30 years too late for that. I was looking for that. Thank God I didn't find it. Thank God I didn't find a community of punk rock junkies. Thank you, Jesus, for that. No, it would have been even more hard for me to get clean because I was two years into addiction when I went to rehab. That's a lifestyle I was living at that point. 
That's a long fucking time to be addicted to drugs. I'm very honest about it, but it's nothing I'm proud of. <sighs> Alcoholism took me there. It was 15 years ago. I will never forget it though, ever. But I, I, it's like, cause I remember this kind of stuff. Clearly it was late at night, who knows it late. I used to wander around, New York's wonderful, or it used to be, it's horrible now, I know that. I ain't gonna elaborate on this. And um, I could tell you what streets, doesn't matter. I'm not going to do this for you fucking assholes. Anyways, it's right. I'm not going to do this, motherfuckers. What street I was on where he was following me around. Okay, Lower East Side. Anyway, so I went to a pizza joint with them. It's popular, real heavy traffic, real popular. I'm not gonna get into where I was, motherfuckers. It's where all the tourists go. I was wandering around there just with all the people, okay? It's no big deal. I wasn't hiding anything. I wasn't a criminal. I was a drug addict, an idiot. Don't, no one wanted around. Nobody wanted to be around, dude. I looked like it. I used to go where all the people in tourist were. I wasn't hiding nothing. It was sad. I didn't care. I dropped out of society. I didn't fucking care if I wandered around with them where they took pictures. I was just a drug addict. You see some of them like me. They're just nice people. They're really fucked up. They can get better and be people like me. You'd be surprised. But some of them, no. No. Some of them, no. 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 It's over for them. They're... That's my opinion, yeah. There is no fucking hope for a lot of them, no. That's the sad truth. That's my fucking opinion and that's how I see it. So, he um, was talking to me some shit. It's been a good 20 minutes with me at the pizza parlor. It's all lit up. We were talking, it was closing up. It was later. Yeah, I loved it. I loved walking around. I. Jesus protected my ass. Okay, I used to walk around New York. <laughs> God. I know I'm like going to bars. Oh, God. Dude. Yes, I did drugs in the bathroom of the bars. Dude, hello. It was really, really sad. I was like this nomad that wandered New York. I know that. It was really weird. It was fucking weird. I guess if I ever trusted somebody, I would tell them some of the stuff I did because it's so fucking surreal. Yeah. Just walk around the parks. It was so fucking weird. All alone. Oh, yeah. I had this punk rock black hoodie. Oh, dude. Anyways, um, I'd go into bars, pool halls, like the pool places, play pool, do drugs in the bathroom, all over the Lower East Side. Anyways, all right, no. It was really sad. I don't have any like uh, fond fondness or, 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 or any of that. It's that I can't believe I did that shit and how I wandered around. It was surreal. That's the only thing you might see a glimmer in my eye of, whoa. And I think only another recovering addict or alcoholic can understand what I'm truly saying and feeling because in no way am I fucking proud of it. No, I almost died. <laughs> the whole two years. Yes. It was so fucking crazy, the life I lived. I wasn't in the gangs. I wasn't in the prostitution. I wasn't in anything. I just wandered for two years. I wasn't going to live like that very long, though. No. And I knew that, so I got straight. One day, I whoop, done. Ah. I started to get really fucking scared from my life. Yeah. Just a random death, overdose, or one of these people I was around who was really evil would just fucking kill me, dude, because you're around too much, dude. Anything could happen. I didn't even realize these Jewish guys were in the mob. I couldn't understand why this fucking guy at the pizza place was following me around. No, but that's how they are. And now that I've lived that little bit of life, now here I am today, I'm like, those are all the mobsters, and I knew that. I knew that when I went back to New York after I went to rehab, went back. I knew, oh yeah, yeah your, your mind is more clear. I, I knew that. It was a schooling though, because nobody really knows these guys that dress like that, whatever it's called, his day, or whatever the fuck the word is. The lot, mo most of them in New York are fucking organized crime. It's a complete, whatever the word, society. You have masses of fucking uh, Jewish mobsters in New York. Generational. And the fact that we let that get out of control like that, and they dress religious, yeah, they're not. 
they're fucking organized crime members. It's um, whatever the word. The agents know it. I don't need to testify or profess this. The United States is a huge gangster nation. And then we let the city get overrun with Italian, Jewish, and then Russia moved in. Do you see how this happened after 90, 1992? The Al-Qaeda was over there. They were like, this is a fucking uh, piece of cake. Okay, and we can come. I don't need to explain this. I have already, and you're fucking going to hell for not listening. All right, the Russian mob moved in last. They were all there, but moved in, and it wasn't for the mob. It was for the goddamn Kremlin, the evil part, under Putin's order, who is Russian mob. And that's, I'm not doing no more of this for you fucking assholes. All right. So then he followed me. There was a couple times, it was the same guy. And there was another one. They looked the same, but you could tell they weren't the same. They would follow me when I was walking. Um, it was really creepy. I realized that. The second time, okay, let me just, my story is real distorted because I'm not trying to totally get into it. It was just nothing. I, I mean, I, I had a piece of pizza with them. We left the parlor, the pizza parlor. He kept following me. I was like, okay, bye. It was really, that's when I knew this is creepy. Why is this guy following me? And I'll tell you how far he was behind me. He was like a hundred feet behind me. He was still following me. I would turn around and this fucking Jewish dude dressed up like that was still fucking following me. I couldn't, I don't, no, I was so naive to all this shit, dude. Yeah. So this one, he followed me around for a good 15 minutes. I mean, I was like doing my, my, my punk rock junkie thing. I go to the park and I, I think I went to a bar, I had a beer. I think I finally ditched him after that. You know, because I was real public. I wasn't a hooker. Yeah, wow. It was really weird. So I think they were trying to do the thing to maybe pimp me. I don't think they thought I would last very long. I think they probably kill a lot of their hookers. I don't want to know. I've learned enough these last four years about how brutal and evil these hookers are and these mobsters are. It's a real nasty uh, lower life form on the planet that we let get out of control here and we now worship and idolize the organized crime. And there's no reason for that because we're not a third world country where people are really fucked up. I'm not gonna explain all that, what it is. I shouldn't have to. And they tend to do that. No, it's about how fucking disgusting we are here and I'm not gonna elaborate on it, that we do that here. We are not a third world country. My days of explaining shit to you are so fucking over. I pray for all your deaths now. That's how much I fucking feel like explaining things to you anymore. I fucking hate you. And I mean that from the deepest parts of my heart. I want you dead in this country. And if I see on the TV little uh, uh, crocodile tears, I'm gonna be really happy. I want this bitch to use her 42,000 and boom. You want it? All right, I want it too. I want Biden and all these people in power to use nuclear bombs and tell everybody it's a gas leak because that's what they're going to do for Al Qaeda, for the far right, until they finally take it over. They'll be telling you it's something completely else than a fucking atom bomb if they can. And you, I pray for your deaths because you took the bait in order to be in the mob, man. I'm in the mob. I'm in my BMW. I'm listening to Tupac. I'm a fucking gangster now, man. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker from a fucking cul-de-sac suburban neighborhood. Never had nothing bad happen to you, but you turned out to be a fucking drug addict, fucking murderer of women and kids. How did that happen? Cause you're a goddamn American is how. That's what we fucking bred. I pray for your death. I hope she uses this on you. I hope you go boom by what she's making up there while you listen to your Tupac. You deserve it.
Nobody trusts anybody here anymore. I can believe that my guidance because too many people have gotten whatever the word to be mob, gangster, to be white, white power. Nobody trusts. Until I see radical changes in Israel, I don't trust you at all. No. It's the same as here, the United States. I don't trust uh, any of these Arab nations. It's not even in the realm of possibility. Any logical, reasonable person would. You are too far gone in corruption for Al-Qaeda and organized crime. It is finished. You have a lot to prove to other people, and I'm one of them, before we ever trust you. As far as Russia and China and North Korea, these other countries that are held with their communism, there was certain parts, like China had the Chinese triad. Right, we understand. Same with the uh, African nations. A lot of them have the problem with Islam. The, I don't need to explain this to adults. But the real producers of this are the Middle East and the, the white Western countries. All right, they used Putin and his neo-Nazis that were there. Uh, for other things, I'm not explaining this, you motherfucking dead people. That's all I see you as is dead people. You love her so much, what she does upstairs, that's what I'm going to call you because that's where you want to go. Russia's not overrun with being in the Russian mob. I gotta be in the Russian mob. I've got to pimp my fucking daughter. I've got to have my daughter get initiated by mob guys. Five train on her. Five guys banging my daughter in her mouth everywhere. Five fucking guys on her. This is what I want for my daughter. It's not taken Russia like that. It is certainly not taken China like that. They have their sex, yes. Subculture, whatever of the, yes. It has not taken. That has taken the countries I fucking just said five times. All right, I have no fucking respect or trust for you and I pray for all your deaths. I'll just say this for uh, Israel. There are, I've known all my life, some good uh, people in Mossad. I've known since I was 18. They, they are like um, as involved with stopping Iran as I am. And um, Iran, I've known since I was 18, hits us with one or two nuclear weapons. It's really scary. Well, maybe not. They might like that here. I, I, I really got to hold off on that. It's scary for me. I, I can only say for me because I was aware of it when I was 18, how scared I'm going to be. I can't say that for the rest of the people here. They'll probably be happy. Um, but for me and some of these folks in Israel who are Jewish, they're in, I believe, most of some agency like that. Um, they're really good at computers. They're wrapped up in this too. Like they and I, we're the same. And we're, we do stop Iran. We do. They stop Iran from nuking Israel. I've known this all my life. I've known, I knew about Wi-Fi before Wi-Fi was ever on the planet. It doesn't matter what I say. I know that. Nothing I say matters. All right, fine. This is why I pray that she does do what she's doing upstairs. Fuck it. Fuck you. I'll just keep it to myself, me and Jesus. Fuck it. I guess so. I have to ask Jesus, why the fuck am I here then? It's kind of upsetting. But anyway, so these Mossad people, they're dudes, they're nice guys. They stop it. The one that goes to Israel, the ones that come here, no, we get it. We get nuked by Iran. And, um, you know, I just know that. I know that there's some really good Jewish people. So I figure that probably at that point, those dudes that are really good at computers and they're like in Israel, they're definitely Jewish. They're fucking angel guys. 
they're fucking angels. Fuck you, I'm swearing, you're right. Fuck you. They're angel guys. Um, they're just as fucked up as I am with this. They're very upset. Um, they stop and save their country, essentially. So I can only, with A and B being logic, um, they will take this bullshit with the Jewish organized crime, swept their fucking people, they'll put it to fucking bed. I don't give a fuck what happens to the people over in Israel beyond that. This is why I say they're having a fight. Let the Jewish people handle this. Those are the Jewish people I'm talking about. Is these dudes like that that save their country and have been put through such hell, such fucking hell, these Jewish guys, they deserve to do whatever they fucking want to these Jewish gangsters who follow fucking chicks around the Lower East Side. They deserve to do whatever they want to them. Hell yeah, I'm staying out of it. I'm staying out of it. And once that's done, I'll fucking trust people there again. Until then, no. No, these are the countries that got whatever the word completely washed out with fucking organized crime and neo-Nazi. Nobody fucking cares about you anymore, man. Not my country or any of these countries. You scum of the earth. So no, no one believes you. No one believes anyone here, anyone in Israel. No one believes anyone in the Middle East. They basically only believe me, China, and certain Russia authorities. Yeah, because Russia's kind of civil war, but nothing like here. Yeah. You don't earn that, man. You earn the label of I'm a gangster. I'm a mob. Oh, wow. That's what you earned. All right. As far as me making these videos, even saying any of this, those organized crime, neo-Nazi, Al-Qaeda fucking terrorists with badges, dispatch police cars, guns, and vests, love coming to fuck with me and try to harm me. And I know that. In my pink fucking slippers. I know that. I'm still going to put this on the internet because somebody will hear it. 